Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number seven of the APA Academy and we are up against JB Westside and his Cincinnati Dreads and we just played him really, really recently in the NCP, uh, but we're here again and this is going to be a wild matchup, right? So he has a lot that I had to think about in building, but um, I'm going to try to manage it as best as I can. Let's see here. So we do see the Como. Uh, Salazzle, Vaporeon, Exelgore, Morpico, and Rillaboom. So no Hatterene, no Melmetal. We both have Melmetals and chose not to bring them. Um, no Sandaconda. Ooh, no Sandaconda is wild. Okay, no Sandaconda is huge. Uh, no Dustwar, no Gemganimax, Pikachu. But yeah, no Hatterene, no Melmetal are the big ones. And no Sandaconda. Yeah, no Sandaconda is genuinely pretty wild to me, but, um... Yeah, I have an Assault Vested Drampa that's meant to deal with the Salazzle. Um, Rotom is kind of meant to deal with the Melmetal, if I have to. But now it's very, very much freed up to deal with the Rillaboom, even though it doesn't have a fire move on it. Uh, it can actually deal with the Como a little bit as well. Um, and yeah, overall, this is very, very interesting. Um, what would I want to lead off with here? Probably just the Rotom. Either the Rotom or the Silvali. Silvali feels as good as anything else here. Um, hmm. I think Silvali makes sense to me. I do have U-Turn, and I'm uh, almost max attack adamant. So I can get a strong U-Turns off. And Silvali Poison is just meant to kind of resist everything that I need to resist here. Um, although it is going to be a little bit awkward, because uh, it feels like... He can play around Savali Poison a decent amount. I'm, I'm also not a very fast Savali. Um, I'm pretty much close to max HP and max attack adamant. Uh, so let's see. It does lead off with a Rillaboom here. As I have the... The Savali Poison. So... I... The Grassy Surge does not... Okay, it does go off. So this looks like a very free U-turn to me. I don't think he would have much of anything to hit a Savali Poison. And a very strong U-turn here would be pretty ideal. Um, I think he would want to go out into... I don't know what he would want to go out into. Either way, this is going to be a reasonably strong U-turn. And I think I take this opportunity here to get a reasonably strong U-turn off. Uh, he goes for a U-turn himself. So actually, I believe. Oh no, I was, was going to say, I, I believe he's Scarf, but no, I'm just a very slow Savali. So he can be a pretty fast Rillaboom. Um, I didn't think it would be worth it to pack on, to pack too much speed, uh, just kind of deal with the situation. But it does also mean that that the Rillaboom will outspeed my my Grimmsnarl and my Rotom because I did pack a bunch of speed on them both, but not enough to deal with with um <laughs> for Rocky Helmet uh cuz of course every dang week um I guess my metal ro just rock the Rocky Helmet water types but it does allow me to bring in this thing let me just see I'm very curious to know what his switch in would be I also don't want to think about it too much um but it's either going to be Power Whip or U-Turn, and I am powered up by the Grassy Terrain, but I don't think that's going to matter too, too much against the Rillaboom here, and I think I can scare this thing out with my, with my Serena. This is going to be banded and boosted by the Grassy Terrain. So yeah, it actually looks like if I land, then I pretty much beat even Max Defense Bold. But what am I doing to Rillaboom? Oh, I'm also in the grassy terrain, so I believe I actually do like minimum of, oh, minimum of almost 200%. But if the Rillaboom does come in, and I'm gonna assume that it's pretty offensive, I do want to gauge damage. Um, yeah, Power Whip is doing a lot of damage, but U-Turn is actually doing a, a, just a little bit more than the Power Whip. I also want to see if I could judge based off of that U-Turn damage. Let's go into the Rillaboom. And, yeah, like I mentioned, this thing is going to do a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, there we go. So it does look to, look to be no bulk, which means it's probably really fast, which also probably means that I don't have anything to really outspeed this that well. What I can do... Yeah, I don't think I have anything that outspeeds this. 
Because it's probably just a really fast Rillaboom. It probably has enough speed for... Maybe enough speed for... I don't know what it has enough speed. Maybe enough speed for no speed Sylvani so, so because I didn't even attempt to, to kind of make that creep play. But this feels like a Volt Switch to me. And yeah, it does withdraw. So it does let me play a little bit more of this kind of um of this kind of positioning game. And from here, I mean if anything, I can go back into Serena and try to get a play rough off here. But play rough would be super obvious. That's also allow me to go into the it could be time for my Grim Snarl. It could be time for my Grim Snarl. Hmm. Getting this thing out of the way would be huge. I'm trying to think this through. Maybe it's not time for that yet. I think. No, I think I, I think my Serena is as good a play as any here. And I'm curious to know how bulky this coma O looks like it would be. That looks like about 15 to 20 ish percent. It is leftovers. So based on that, with my Rotom. Yeah, it actually looks to be really pretty offensive. Uh, play rough would be really obvious here, and it would give him a very free Salazzle. I'm gonna try it. We'll see if he stays in. He could just try to poison jab me. He knows that I'm reasonably offensive. But it feels like something that I would go for here. Even if this thing is max defense, I believe I do, yeah, a minimum of, of 109%, I believe. Maybe. Yeah, minimum of 110%-ish. So, he does let me go for the play rough, and I outspeed, which, yeah, because I am banded, that is a huge KO. That is a huge, huge KO really early on. He probably thought he could take one because he didn't know that I, yeah, thought I was banded. But I was banded. This does allow in the Salazzle. A dedicated switch is... My Assault Vested, um, Drampa. And then from there we try to manage it. I believe this will be the last turn of Grassy Terrain. Which is problematic. But, I don't know. That is, that is pretty huge. Um, I also, yeah, okay. I have to figure out, I mean, I don't think there's any real play to be made here. He could get up a sub here, but, uh, if he does, then I can Hyper Voice and Hyper Voice... Obviously, bypass a sub. Um, if I'd, I don't know, I'd be mildly surprised if he just goes straight up for a Toxic here. But that would be pretty bad for me overall. I think that'd be worst case scenario. That'd be pretty close to worst case scenario here. Regardless, I think I can try to manage this. And we can start to make things happen. So, I think he just tries to attack me. Maybe not, I don't know. Nasty plot. Okay. Okay. I think that's reasonably fine. So here's here's where the little bit of mild tech comes in. I think I can just click extra sensory here. And I am a salt vested, so I should it's gonna be a little bit of a roll, but um I should take two. Oh, so here's the thing, right? If it's timid, I believe I always take two. Uh e even though this thing's at plus two. And if it is if it is modest, then I don't take two. And then I kind of just lose. But, let's see here. With my Drampa. Yeah, no, again, if this thing is timid... Um... Yeah, I can try to get off the extra sensory here. It does the most damage. Where... There's a Sludge Wave. We get to see. It's modest. It's for sure modest. And I get poisoned. Which is not- Oh, but it activates Berserk! That actually means- Oh, that actually means I KO! That's huge! And it's Life Orb! Okay, it is Life Orb. Okay. That's huge! Berserk is the only way- Oh, no. Okay, so, if it's- If, if it's no bulk, then, li then that Life Orb genuinely did matter, because, um... Uh, I didn't need the Berserk in order to KO 
through through that life orb chip. Okay, that's actually huge, but it doesn't matter anyway because I got the Berserk boost. I completely forgot about Berserk too. That is hilarious to me. Okay. Um, I probably should be Sap Sipper just because uh, R Rillaboom was such an issue, but I figured... Um, but I figured um, Rillaboom could always just um, superpower me, so it was never going to be great for me. Um, but yeah, no, that's hilarious because um, with this particular situation, it means that I that I always could have I always could have um, gotten off. I always could have tried to play some some games knowing that this knowing that the real boom is probably choice banded. Um, I know he does like choice banded real boom, and this is actually the, the second time he's brought it in the entire season, and the only other time was was banded. But here's an interesting moment. Uh, okay, so this thing could be could be sash, but I believe I just go for the fire blast roll because um. Yeah, if this thing takes me out, then he doesn't get ha hazards up. And if he gets hazards up, goes for the focus blast and lands it. All right, all right, chief. Who lands focus blast in 2020? Okay, this might just let me go into Grimmsnarl here. I could just go ham with Grimmsnarl right now, right? Um, I'm not too too sure what I would. Hmm, this is probably always the better play, right? Actually, this is probably the, always the better play. And the fact that... The fact that... I could, I could get Final Gambited. That'd be not great. Um, but yeah, I'd probably just get off a really strong multi-attack here. Um, I should resist both stabs, right? Because I am Savali Poison, and I should be bulky enough to take most hits. And if he does, and if he does switch out, then I get a very solid amount of damage here. This could be this is, I believe, it to a KO. Uh, it, it depends on how defensive this thing is. Like, if this thing is super duper max defense, yeah, okay. It is Rocky Helmet, yeah, okay. So that's fine. I wish it was in range of me to be able to do something else, but. I don't think this Sovali is really ever going to do much else. So I think I just give it up here. Although I really do wish that U-Turn could KO. If U-Turn could KO, then that might be ideal? Question mark? No, I think I just go for it. I've taken out so many big threats that I think I just take the momentum where it is and I don't... And I kind of... Uh, I'm kind of giving him a little bit of initiative, but realistically... um. With only the more Pico, Excel Gore, and Rillaboom left, I think what this means is that um, he's he can obviously revenge me, but I can play off of whatever he chooses to revenge with, and then I think that puts me in the best position possible, especially with a Grim Snarl that hasn't popped any type of um, Gigantamax yet, because my Grim Snarl, my, my Grim Snarl can one v one, pretty much I, I I believe any of his remaining Mons here, unless I mean unless. I don't know. Banded Rillaboom, maybe not. Banded Rillaboom might be the one Mon that I'm the most concerned about. But let's bring this thing in. I can, yeah, I can just click U-Turn. If he tries to do any, like, se weird setup stuff, then I can deal with it. If I take one, that would be huge. I have max HP. Do we take one? We don't take one. Okay, that's fine. And he gets a speed boost. Doesn't matter because I don't, um, I don't outspeed with anything anyway. It is life orbed. So that's fun. Um, I believe I need the Rotom Heat for the Rillaboom now. Um, as long as I keep that up, then I'm. Then I don't think I ever lose to it. But here, I might be able to. Yeah, I might be able to just do this. He's gonna be able to get a Dark type uh, Aura Wheel off, but I. I don't think it matters too, too much. I can U-turn. Yeah, I think this makes the most amount of sense to me. Because um, it's never going to be able to 1v1 the Excel Core anyway. And theoretically, I take a hit from... I might take a hit from the Rillaboom, but um, it's not guaranteed. And I think just... I, I think I just take a hit here. I U-turn, I KO this thing, and it allows me to probably just go into Crimson Arrow, And then I try to deal with whatever with Crimson Arrow, right? Or I go into... Are we going to Mudsdale? Question mark? 
I don't know. I don't know what I do. But I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out in just a second. Let's go for the dark type or wheel. This will hurt, but I don't think it ever just straight up Oko's. Yeah. And this is a banded super effective um, U turn from 20 ish percent of, of life or recoil. You guys know what I mean. Uh, so, okay. I think Rotom Heat always neutralizes the Rillaboom. And I think. Huh. I could just go into this thing and dare the Rillaboom to come out. I don't know how I want to play this. Like, even a little bit. Let me think here. Yeah, I mean, Mudsdale is super duper expendable for the rest of this match. It probably just takes a hit from the Excel Gore at best. But I think what it does is it baits in the Rillaboom. And I think the Rillaboom has to hit me with, with Woodhammer. Right? And then, and then from there... And then from there, it, it takes a bunch of recoil. Oh, it's hard. I, I did not realize how weakened it was. I forgot I got that fat U-turn off on it earlier in the match. But, yeah, I completely forgot about that. Genuinely. Um, regardless, I mean, does Heavy Slam do it? Knowing that this thing is so offensive. I mean, I, I probably don't get a hit off any. I mean, I might get a hit off. Could I take one? Probably not. Uh, with Mudsdale. Could I take one? No, I don't take one. But Woodhammer, yeah, Woodhammer should always do the amount of, um, and Heavy Slam actually looks like it KOs, even if he does go for any other move that doesn't KO me. So either he KOs me with, with, with Woodhammer and takes himself out, or, um, or he does something else and I, and I deal big damage with Heavy Slam. I should, yeah, yeah. So now I probably just give the last KO to Grimmsnarl. Actually, oh man, if I, if I just had... A gosh dang, um, a gosh dang fire move on Rotom. I would so give this give this final KO to, to Rotom, only because I was looking at stats earlier, right? And Rotom is, so there there are three mons that I brought to every single week of the season. It was, I believe, a uh, Rotom. Let me look it up just to be extra super sure. Um, it looks like it was Rotom, Silvali, and Inteleon. All have all come to every single week of the season. Inteleon and Silvali have been killing it. They've been at the top of of um of ko leaders for most of the season and, um except for except for uh rotom R rotom is the one mon that ha that has n not gotten a ko all season and been ko'd five times a season so it's it's over five all season long and if i had a fire move i would 100 percent just go into it now and um do the most right now um but yeah, un unfortunately, I just can't do that. But regardless, um, I imagine this KOs. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Does go for the bug buzz. Doesn't do a whole of a lot. Um, let's get the special defense drop. Which actually, if if it has a follow up, if it has a follow up um, sludge bomb for me, then I might lose there. Well, I I I lose this thing. I think. Okay. Okay. Now this is definitely a lot more interesting. But. Excelgore against Gigantamax Grimmsnarl. If Bug Buzz does 70 points of damage, yeah, that's about. Huh, that might actually be. Yeah, that actually might be no investment. Regardless, I mean, I really have no other play but to... Oh, I could just max guard for some... Yeah, yeah. 100% I max guard here. Just for that little bit of extra... Oh, also, I, I maybe made this thing drowsy. It does have the sludge bomb. But if there's any chance that I take this next hit, then it's going to be doing this. Um, we do get a little bit of HP back. And on the final turn of max... Regardless, I don't... I don't know. I'm not sure if even at plus one... This thing has the offensive strength to straight up KO my Rotom from full. But here's the G-Max news. Do we take it? Oh, we barely take it. I think, okay, I'm gonna have to look back, but I think that that Max Guard might've been the difference. I think that my, that Max Guard might've been the difference. 
So unfortunately, I don't get to give the KO to to Rotom, but uh, yeah, that definitely could have gone really badly. Um, that special defense drop really messed me up, but thankfully I was able to max guard with the with the terrain of. And uh, yeah, we just barely pull out that win. Regardless, that was a whole ton of fun. GG to JB, regardless. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're back really, really soon with more weeks at the EP Academy, with more weeks at the NCP, and more weeks at the TBL uh, with our partner in Vivid Color. But uh, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you once again out.